Yo, what's up guys? Dan here with another video. Today, or actually, what the fuck, tonight, I won't be doing a gameplay. Instead, I'll be doing a photo editing video. Um, I do like to do, take photos. I do like to do, I do like to take photos every now and then. It's like another hobby of mine. Um, just go out, take pictures of whatever I think is interesting. Um, also, I thought it would be a cool idea to use my photos as a thumbnail for my gameplay videos. Uh, I've been... I watch a lot of other YouTubers, especially other YouTube game channels. And... Yeah, they use a lot of... Their thumbnails are always based on the game that they play. But I'm like, hey, maybe I should try using my photos as a thumbnail and putting the title of the game on there. I don't know. I thought it would be something different maybe cool who knows thought i'd try it out maybe it'll make my videos pop out more i don't know but i thought it would be a cool idea so the photo i chose is this um the story behind this photo is i went to san francisco with my cousin and my uncle and aunt to a wedding and my friend patrick this dude that you see in the photo here um happens to live four hours away from San Francisco so I called him up I'm like hey I'm gonna go up to San Francisco to a wedding we should hang out sometime he was like hell yeah dude so he came down to San Francisco hung out he showed me like all the cool spots this was one of them I thought it was pretty dope as hell um, I didn't really like all the clouds but I mean it still looked pretty cool so that's why I chose this photo I mean it looks pretty neat I, th I think it'd be a pretty good thumbnail for um, the next game that I'm playing or the next video that I'm posting so let's get started so let's do the basics I'm going to move the highlights up here maybe not too much probably like 25 the shadows I don't know, I'm just trying to see how it looks. Just playing around with the with all the settings. This is what I usually do and I don't know, over time I start getting an idea of how I want it to look. If that makes sense. Boom. Vibrant five, maybe saturation add a little bit. Okay, let's do the tone curve now. Uh, I want to give my photo like more of a dark type of vibe. I don't know. I always think, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty cool. So that looks pretty good. And the colors. The hue, saturation, and lumin luminance. So, let's see. For red, make it about a 10. Right. can barely see it. Well, orange, let's make that. Make it a little warm. About 25. Yellow. About 15. And let's see green. No. Blue. That looks good where it is, so I'm not gonna do anything with that. And the orange. Bump it up to like 25. Yellow. Is 
That looks nice. Luminance. Let's see. Five. Ten. Yellow. Oops. What the hell? Plus five. Split toning. Probably we're not gonna do it that much. Make it a twelve and detail. Move it up a little bit. Make Sixty. Sixty is good. edges make those edges a little dark and see the collaboration Look at the before and after. That looks pretty dope. Let's see. Let's make, let's make it a little dark. And then let's brush this, make this a little brighter.
reported on two separate tracks. Each one texture to certain sections of the orbit, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, sounds are blended together. Do that. Get the contrast. Impossible to obtain in a mono recording. Make up the black one at least five. And him. Brightened up. Boom. He's 60, so that means this has to be zero point sixty nine. It's a lot more work, but There we go. Go. Take that off. The shadows. That looks better. Shit. Add the blacks. And then up the shadows.
That looks pretty nice. So bam. So what we're gonna do now? Save it. Okay. Boom. Exports. Okay, then we'll open up Photoshop. Drag it on here. Download, download the um, Resident Evil 4 title so I can add it on here. I think it'll look pretty dope here. Let me see. Right there. Bam. And then I can add my logo. the next video my next resident it's gonna be part seven so I will go ahead and add that title or add that number right here Save that. Save as. Save on computer. Bam. Four, four, seven. I'll just name it that. At least high, because I think the minimum for YouTube thumbnails is like two megabytes. And then, bam! There you go photo finished hope you guys like this i think it looks dope in my opinion but let me know what you think um thinking of doing like something like this moving forward with uh videos that i'll be making in the future so let me know what you think peace